going to tell you a story about when I lived up in the mountains. Now, they told me the winters could be bad up there, but they hadn't prepared me for what I was in store for. Well, I lived in a little, I moved into a little log cabin between Jim Raines Mountain over here and Bill Raines Mountain over there. And they told me it was a rough winter, so I stocked up on all kinds of foods and bisquick and ham, all kind of good stuff and a ton of firewood. Well, things were going pretty well. It started getting real cold and about mid-January, one morning, it started to snow. And it snowed and snowed and snowed and by lunchtime, the snow had reached right up to the bottom of the window and it kept on snowing. It snowed and snowed, and by supper time, it was all the way up past the window. I couldn't even see out past the window with all that snow, but I wasn't worried about it. So I just settled in and burned my firewood and ate good and waited and waited and waited. And finally, I got a little cabin fever, and I decided to, that I was going to try to get out and open the front door and just see how bad it was out there. Well, I pushed and pushed on that front door and couldn't get it open. I said, well, I'll just wait a little bit longer. So I waited and I waited and I burned a lot of firewood and I ate up a lot of food. And I said, well, I'll, you know, it's bound to start melting soon. But I waited and waited and ran out of food and ran out of firewood and was breaking up my furniture to burn. And I said, you know, I really need to get out of here and get some food and get some, get some firewood and then come on back. Well, I knew I couldn't get out the front door, so I let the fire die down in the wood stove, and I pulled down the pipe, and I climbed up out through the roof, up through the in the in the house, and and climbed up, and kept climbing till I couldn't I couldn't hardly get through the snow, and I finally poked my head through, and I said, "Mercy heavens, I forgot my axe," and I had to go back down. I climbed back down all that and got my axe and went back up and I got back up on top of the snow finally and I looked around, I looked up all over the mountains and everywhere and it snowed so deep it had covered up all the trees. Every last one of them except for one at the top of Jim Rain's mountain, a big old hickory tree way up at the top. I said, well, I guess that's where I'll have to get my firewood. So I started walking, head my way up to Jim Rain's Mountain, and I got closer and closer and closer. And as I did, I noticed there was something hanging in the tree. And I got closer, and it looked like, it looked like some kind of animal. And when I got up, right up under it, I could tell it was a bunch of raccoons. And I figured what had happened. It was so cold and so snowy, those raccoons had jumped from tree to tree until they ran out of trees to jump on until they got to the very last one of them. And I looked up a little closer, and the poor things, they was all froze to death. Well, times was hard, so I decided I was going to have raccoons to eat. So I climbed out up that old hickory tree, gathered up my raccoons, and threw them down in the snow. And I said, you know, I really do need some firewood, and this hickory tree is the only thing around. So I decided to chop that hickory tree down and get my firewood. Well, I chopped all the limbs off of it and piled them up. Chop, 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 and there's finally just one big limb left. And I hit it really hard, and the limb, that last limb fell off, and that log, what was left of that hickory tree, started sliding down Jim Rain's Mountain. And I said, mercy, watch this. And I just sat there and watched that thing. And it got faster and faster going down that mountain and faster. And when it got to the bottom of the mountain, there's a creek there. And it had frozen over. And it went right on across that creek and started headed up Bill Rain's Mountain. It was heading up real fast. It was going faster and faster and faster all the way up to the other side. And just when I thought it was going to shoot off the top of that mountain, it slowed down. And then it started coming right back down. Bill Rain's mouth came down faster and faster and faster, went right across that frozen creek, and then right back up Jim Rain's Mountain again. And I was up there, and I said, I'm going to try to catch this thing because I could use that wood. And I stabbed at it with that axe, and it just shot off the side of that log, and that log went right back down Jim Rain's Mountain across that frozen creek and right up Bill Rain's Mountain. And just before it shot off the other side, it slowed down and came right back. And it came down that mountain across the creek and back up like this. And that log went back and forth. 
just like that over and over again. And I watched that thing. I watched it a long time and I kept waiting for it to slow down or shoot off on the other side and it never did. Well, I said, I'll cook it back to the, to the cabin and cook up my raccoons and get my wood going. So I carried it all back and then dropped it all down inside my cabin where the chimney was. And then I climbed all down in myself and put the stove back up and I had wood and I had food, heaven rest those poor raccoons, and ate and ate and, and stayed warm for a long time. And then one morning I got up and I heard drip, 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 drip. The snow was melting. About time, I thought. And I waited and I waited and about two weeks later, I could see just about that much out my window again. And I waited and waited another week and it had melted down enough where I could push out and go into town and get my provisions. Well, I needed to get out of there to get my stuff, so I headed on into town. Well, to go to town, you had to cross that creek where that, that log had been going back and forth and back and forth. And I said, I wonder, I wonder whatever happened to that log. And now some of you might be thinking this whole story has been a little bit of an exaggeration, but you know what? I walked up to that creek and I looked and right there at the bottom of the creek going back and forth and back and forth just a little bit was that log. It had gone back and forth so much it had worn itself down till it was about that long. Now y'all might not believe that's a true story, but I'll prove it to you. I got that log right here in my pocket somewhere. Here it is. Here's that log right there. It was going back and forth just like that. And I'll tell you what, that's the best toothpick I ever had. <laughs>